When Howard Carter discovered the tomb of Tutankhamun in 1922, he probably had no idea of the cultural impact he was about to have. It led to an Egypt mania in popular culture around the world, reaching even as far as Camden. Here, opposite Mornington Crescent Tube Station, is Greater London House, one of the most striking office blocks in London. This was originally the Carreras Cigarette Factory. The Carreras family came over to Britain as refugees from Spain in the early 19th century, albeit as aristocrats rather better off than most. They went into the tobacco business, opening a shop on Prince's Street, now Wardour Street in Soho, and a larger one on Regent Street. They had many prominent customers, including King Edward VII, who was fond of the finer things in life. Too fond, according to his mother. In 1907, the company opened a factory on City Road in Islington, but in just over a decade, demand was starting to outstrip their ability to supply. So they looked to Camden. The new factory was officially known as the Arcadia Works, although it was originally to be named Bast House. As was the fashion at the time, it was built in the Egyptian Revival style. Guarding the entrance were two giant bronze statues of the cat goddess Bastet. Bastet was more than a feline. She was a guardian goddess and a mother figure. But, more prosaically, she also represented the company's Black Cat brand of cigarettes. The opening in 1928 was quite an event, with sand scattered outside the factory, a procession of costumed actors and a chariot race. But despite the callbacks to ancient architecture, it was a thoroughly modern factory, built in pre-stressed concrete and incorporating dust extractors and air conditioning. By all accounts, it was a pretty decent place to work. The Baron family, who by now owned the Carreras tobacco firm, were often on the factory floor. One employee relates how, when she fell ill, she was chauffeur-driven to hospital in the director's car. On site were a doctor, a dentist and a chiropodist. And the company owned a convalescent home in Brighton for the benefit of its employees. Social activities included a swimming club and an amateur dramatics society. During the Second World War, the factory gained a bomb shelter still there. An almost certainly untrue rumour has it that it was connected to the underground. I'm getting mental images of the factory sending urgent shipments to Winston Churchill at Down Street Station. In 1959, though, Carreras were bought out by Rothmans, and it was decided to move production out to Basildon in Essex. The workers' moving costs were to be covered by the company, but nevertheless it still felt like the end of an era. The new owners removed the cat statues, the Bastets, with one going to their Basildon factory and another to Jamaica. The factory was converted into offices. The Egyptian decor was considered gaudy and dated, and stripped away. This was also when the building was renamed Greater London House. But in the 1990s, the building was sold to Resolution GMH, who saw value in the factory's original appearance, and restored it as far as possible. So it remains. An eye-catching building, even by the standards of Camden. Hello all, I hope you enjoyed this video on Camden's Feline Factory. If so, please do hit the like button and maybe subscribe if you like this sort of thing. I've covered another Egyptian revival building in Islington, which I'll link in the description below. It's not to everyone's taste, but I suppose there's no pleasing some people. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheerio.